this is very interesting. I didn't know what you guys uh, had for a product line until we pull in here, and uh, this is very interesting things. I've seen a lot of your clocks in many places around the world. Uh, when I was in the Senate, I'd go to a lot of military installations and didn't know what these, I didn't know what that was, or I didn't know it was made here. Uh, but it's a great product, and it does a wonderful job, and it, uh, it kind of keeps everybody, it keeps everybody synchronized, and that's just a wonderful, helpful thing that you, uh, that you do and you have. Uh, tomorrow's big election day. Hope you all get out and vote. If you haven't already voted, uh, about 25% of the public's already voted, so uh, a lot of people do advanced voting. Uh, but if you don't, make sure to get on out, uh, get on out and vote and exercise. Kansas is a bill, real bellwether state uh, this year. Both the Senate race and the governor's race are key ones that people all across the country are watching. I even had a BBC reporter uh, with me on Saturday. Uh, which they're saying, yeah, you're, you're going global now. So, <laughs> don't know that we wanted that, but we are. Uh, and what we try to do in the state is make it a, a better atmosphere to grow a business like this one, uh, so that we could have more jobs in the state. So we took taxes off a of small business, uh, and that's created a really nice growth atmosphere. We're down to 4.8 percent unemployment rates, and, and our wages are going up because as you get that unemployment rate down, then the competition uh, grows uh, for people to work and that's been a very healthy thing for us to have so it's uh, you know it's a big thing we're investing heavily in schools in the state so we're putting a bunch of money in our k-12 system and higher education as well just put some money in innovation campus at WSU we want to expand the aviation uh, area and they they want to have more of the companies located on campus to where they can they can work closely together and the company can get interns from on campus, uh, the students and the president there, President Bardot's had a really good uh, influence on that. We're expanding the aviation uh, industry here. It used to be almost exclusively Boeing and uh, General Aviation, uh, Cessna, Lear, uh, and um, then that and that has really expanded to where now it's. <clears throat> Spirit, which every Boeing fuselage goes through there. Uh, you got general aviation, but then you also have a number of subcontractors in the area, and that's that's growing. So it's going to continue to be the air capital. Want to continue to invest in that, keep it growing, because that's just a great business to be in and be a part of. So those are some of the things that we're we're doing. <coughs> keep investing in education. Try to keep our taxes going down. The places that have grown the most are the ones that have the lowest taxes. I've learned something over a fair number of years in politics is that people don't like paying taxes. <laughs> they like the product, you know, they like, okay, I want to be able to buy that thing and I want the government to be able to have it, but I want my taxes as low as possible. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is just get our taxes down so you attract more business to grow more uh, here in the state and get more growth happening. We want the state to be the best place to raise a family and grow a small business. So the two key things we're focused on. So thank you.